All right, Shalom, Yashirala, first and foremost. I want to begin by giving all the praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakhak, Kudash. Okay, as always, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh is the Son, who the world called Jesus Christ. Bashem, Rakhak, Kudash is in the name of the Holy Spirit. In the pale Hebrew, the last one could dash. Okay, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations and mercy and blessings unto you, Akim, that are doing the work of Yahab Hashem, Shan, sincerely and in truth. And shalom to you, sisters that are listening and learning. Shalom to the one third of the nation of Israel. Okay, now I came across this video on uh, Instagram uh, last night or the night before, and I saved it because I wanted to show you, brothers, you know, um, that the Lord. Okay, um, it's pretty much putting all hell in these women, and not only that, but the scriptures when it says that the Lord that the Lord had deprived her of, of wisdom, okay, scriptures does not lie, man. It's just that, okay. Now you got these women who uh, pretty much, as soon as they don't like something about their body, they go to Esau, okay, and they get these fake implants, which causes. Uh, you know, major damages to their bodies, okay, and then it leads on to cancer and so on and on. Because, okay, in the first place, okay, these goddamn implants, okay, are not supposed to be in your goddamn bodies, man. Okay, the scripture just talks about not piercing your body, etc., and so on and on and on, okay. But you have who, okay, the woman of our nation, they run into, you know, they run to Esau, okay. As soon as they don't like something with their body, okay, and they get these fake implants, man, which really it's spitting in the Lord's face, man, because the Lord gave you something that you should be appreciative of, man, okay, and not run and change it, man. But Esau has made it to a point where now a lot of these women and men, okay, as soon as they don't like something, okay, they change it, man, which that's what uh, this whole, uh, you know, uh, change of gender okay, the plastic surgeries and this and that, okay, it's all going against the creation of Yahab Hashem al man, okay, when the Lord created the earth and everything in it, he said what, that it was beautiful, okay, I want to grab, a, you know, one scripture here real quick before I play this video, and then, you know, Lord willing, you know, I'm going to go uh, with the spirit, okay, and whatever scripture the Lord Yahab Hashem al brings out, you know, that I will bring out, man, okay, this is in the book, of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29 it says lo this only have I found that God okay that the Lord Yahweh Shai hath made man upright but they have sought out many inventions okay so when the Lord Yahweh Shai created man and female okay he created them upright okay but then through the sin okay they've gone out and sought out many inventions man and through sin brings forth death man Okay, the church says what of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die, man. Okay, now look at the title. It says y'all ladies need to be careful with the butt enlargements, man. Now here's, you know, here's the video. At one point, I wanted a bigger butt at any cost, but now I realize, you know, it could cost me my life. It's crazy. Yo, like, what the fuck is the point of that, man? That shit looks unattractive, man. It looks very unattractive, man. Okay? That's disgusting, man. When I first got butt injections, I was 22 years old. A lot of people say, work out, do squats, get a bigger booty. But no, I worked out and my booty got smaller. My last interview was two or three years ago. I decided to make some lifestyle changes because I'm not young anymore. You know, I want to be better than I was last year. <laughs> you making a video? Damn underscore Miss Miami, follow me. I'm working on a few things that help me just express myself with words and with actions instead of expressing myself with being naked. Now I just want people to see me more as Courtney. That doesn't make any sense. Here it is. You go get these butt enlargements. Okay, these butt implants. Okay. You get all the attention that you were fucking lusting for, okay, from these men. But now that you're getting all this attention, that you want people to look at you for who you are. That doesn't make any sense, man. Okay? That does not make any sense. Okay? Now, all of a sudden, you want to go back to who you were. After all of this fucking, uh, you know, uh, things that you've done to your body, man. 
You see, that's the same thing with these women. How they want to go out there and sleep around with all these goddamn men. But then by the time they're like in their 40s, then they want that one man to find them, okay, uh, as to be the queen, okay, so-called queen, okay. They want that, you know, uh, they want that single man or that one man, okay, to just love her for all his life. When all these other men that she slept with, they pretty much, you know, throw her out the window, man. Okay? You see the confusion on that? That doesn't make any sense. Hey, I may look like a circus freak because my booty big like this, but I just want people to see me for me. Even talking about it is not easy. So, you know, I'm a work in progress. Because if you want, we can take one in. Okay, yeah, the second. The surgery to remove the blood injections is so complicated, and I don't even know how much the financial cost because it's well over twenty thousand dollars. Are there any risks involved with removing the shots? Yes, there are a lot of risks involved, and I and I don't even think doctors fully know the risks until they're there, like until they have to deal with this. Hello. Health wise, I am healthy, but there are just still physical changes going on in my body. Like my butt is still discolored, it sags more than it used to. She's definitely had illegal injection of polymer, which is a very sad but common thing that occurs in the area. We see a lot, a lot of complications with that. And some patients get a lot of symptoms, a lot of pain, they can't sleep, they can live. Anyways, I can, if you guys want to watch the rest of this video, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. But I just wanted to bring out this scripture before I close here. This is the book of Job chapter 39, verse 17. Because the Most High, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted to her understanding. And this is a prime example of that scripture right here, man. Okay? That don't make any sense. I haven't heard this one... Um, this one saying, I forget who said it, but it said uh, something about how that you can't even make this woman proud or you can't. Um, how does it go? Salakia, just one second. It says something about how that you can't make these women happy. OK, here it is. God gave them eyebrows. They shave it off and then they draw it back in, man. And that's 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 truth right there, man. Because the Mosai had deprived her of wisdom. And with that, shallow war.